Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Non Farms Friday. I'm just trying to calculate this. I think this is like the 280th Non Farms I've had to uh, witness. Some of the years were more wild than others. Anyway, uh, let the circus begin today. Uh, the most notable chart here is Dollar Swiss. Three prints now at one. Uh, so. This is kind of your this is kind of your horse today either way. You threw one if it's bullish, let's say plus two forty, and then you're through ninety nine fifty or sixty. If it's bearish, say minus say plus one forty or lower. I do think the top side has a little bit more of a surprise uh, embedded into it. There are a lot of people who are worried about the ISM employment. There are some economists who are saying that the jobless claims on Thursday will rule the day and we're going to see the employment number go down to four. As ever, uh, we're also looking for average hourly earnings. Uh, this has kind of been driving the boat the last six months. So you want to keep on keep a very very close eye on that today. If you don't feel like trading dollar Swiss, which I can fully understand because dollar Swiss is difficult, uh, you know, on a week one I guess actually dollar yen is going to be the best down through one hundred eight ninety, uh, and then on a strong one, cable through the two hundred day, and also kind of a double bottom now forty two low today down through forty. Although cable is not much better than dollar Swiss on a non farms day. Pretty dicey. Um, not a whole ton to say because it's kind of one of those binary pick your poison days. A lot of people are saying stocks are going to go down no matter what comes out unless it's a Goldilocks number. So unless it's kind of between 180 and 200. And that will be bullish for stocks but if it comes in super hot inflation problems if it comes in super weak uh, both of those scenarios we see equities lower but again as we talked about this morning it's not really an equities day it's more of a dollar day uh, let's look at the yield beforehand just so we get a baseline let's call it uh, 294 or 293.7 here so obviously the big number on top seems far away but is three and on the yield side you know the low of the last sort of week has been 292.4 so that's kind of your yield scenario I mean I could go on talk about uh, Tesla and talk about some other stuff but it's really a non-farms day, so it's a dollar day, so I won't, I won't muddy the waters with some other stuff. Let's just uh, take now the next two hours and try and visualize what we're trying to do, get our plans together, and make some money. And then after that, we are going to have a good weekend, as are you. I'll see you all Monday. Ciao, 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 ciao.